This is Tiger Tuesday Rewind for February 2019. February kicked off with notification that Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated will be donating $50,000 to Voorhees College along with other HBCUs from across the country. Voorhees held its annual Absalon Jones Feast Day with visitors from the Episcopal Church fellowshipping on the campus. Hip-hop pioneer Curtis Blow opened the Lyceum Committee's Black History Month lectures to a packed house of BC students, faculty, and staff, along with visitors from throughout the community. The South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control awarded the college a $10,000 recycling grant, spearheaded by English professor Dr. Diane Hewlett. SGA President Christina Donovan was presented with the Outstanding Undergraduate Student Leader Award from NASAP, the National Association of Student Affairs Professionals. Senator Cory Booker spoke to a packed house about the 2020 presidential campaign. Civil rights legend and eighth president of Voorhees College, Dr. Cleveland L. Sellers, stopped by for a conversation about race relations then and now in America. The Office of Admissions held Parents' Day open house, welcoming parents and family of current students, as well as those of graduating high school seniors, to visit the campus and partake in the daily student life experience at Voorhees College. Voorhees 2010 MassCom graduate and famed choreographer Jamal Joseph closed out the Black History Month lecture series and even taught some Baychella moves to a few brave students. Voorhees College qualified to compete in the 30th annual Honda Campus All-Star Challenge. Sophomore James Watson, who was nationally ranked at number 12 in the high jump and number 14 in the triple jump, qualified to compete in the NAIA 2019 Indoor Track and Field Championships. The men's and women's basketball teams both qualified for the AII Conference Tournament. The Lady Tigers fought well in a first round loss. The Tigers battled through the first two rounds to reach the conference championship round, where they defeated the College of the Ozarks in double overtime on a three-pointer from Javari Albergati with 1.8 seconds left on the clock. The Tigers were given the number seven seed in the NAIA National Championship Tournament and will face the number two seed College of Idaho Yokes on Thursday, March 7th. And did you know that Voorhees College president, Dr. W. Franklin Evans, is on Twitter? Be sure to follow Perez Evans and support him in continuing to uplift Voorhees College. And last but not least, be sure to vote every day between now and April 15th for Voorhees College in the Home Depot Retool Your School competition and use hashtag Voorhees underscore RYS19 in all your social media posts. This has been the Tiger Tuesday Rewind for February 2019.